This story begins with the moment a man learns of betrayal and the pain that follows in that breaking moment as he looks into the eyes of the woman he once loved. The deep anger and disappointment he feels drive him down a path of no return. Here, you will see the dark side of a life where you realize you never truly knew the person you loved. Are you ready to learn how things reach this point, step by step, as the emptiness inside me grew until it all overflowed? Before diving into my story, if you don't want your life to be turned upside down like mine, subscribe to my channel to learn real lessons from the real stories we share every day, just like mine. Also, share your thoughts about the shocking truths I've experienced in the comments, and please show your support by liking my video. Now that you've subscribed, let's dive into my story. My name is Sam. I am 42 years old, and I have been married to Alicia for 7 years. When I first met her, she was very young, a girl who hadn't yet experienced life. However, as the years went by, the difference between us became more and more evident. I gave her a life, I supported her financially, funded her university education, and was always there for her. I tried to keep our relationship alive through every challenge because I loved her. But now, it's all over because Alicia betrayed me in the worst possible way. When Alicia and I got married, our life was modest. We didn't have a big house or live extravagant lives, but I was happy with her. Going to work every morning, coming home at night, spending time together, and listening to her stories was enough for me. However, for her, this life was never enough. One day, when I heard Alicia laughing at a humiliating gesture the CEO made towards me at work, something inside me broke. When I saw her laugh at the clothes being thrown at me, I realized the arrogant, selfish side of her. In that moment, I understood how Alicia truly felt about me. That laugh, the Dan laugh, started everything. Alicia's laughter when the CEO insulted me by throwing clothes at me shattered the last fragment of trust one had. In that moment, things began to turn. The sarcastic laugh made me take a step back to figure out what was wrong in our marriage and why she had become so distant. After that day, I realized just how much her feelings for me had changed. But that was just the beginning, suspicion grew inside me. It felt like something much deeper, something hidden was behind all this. When I came home, the echoes of her laugh still lingered in my mind, and I began to watch Alicia's behavior more closely. Until then, her business trips, late nights at work, and constant time spent with the CEO hadn't bothered me. But now, every move she made sparked suspicion. The long hours she spent at work and the silence when she came home began to reshape everything in my mind. I started to feel that I was distancing myself from her, but at the same time, there was an unbearable desire to learn the truth. I still loved her, but I needed to know if she was worthy of that love. One night, when Alicia was preparing for a business trip abroad with the CEO, I decided it was time to understand the real reason behind everything. My feelings for Alicia were growing colder, and I felt there was another purpose behind this trip. I objected to her leaving, but as usual, Alicia didn't listen to me. That night, as she packed her suitcase, there was a certain urgency in her eyes, she didn't even look at me. It was as if I was just a shadow in her eyes. I let her go, but I began to form a plan in my mind. From that day on, I decided to investigate Alicia. My first step was to observe the CEO's movements. We lived in a digital age, and that played to my advantage. I secretly checked Alicia's phone and found a way to access her conversations with the CEO. At first, it seemed innocent, just work-related messages, but as I delved deeper, I discovered the truth hidden behind the business trips. The secret messages between Alicia and the CEO were not just about work, their relationship was becoming more obvious with every passing day. The screenshots I took were filled with messages that proved their affair, but for me, this wasn't enough. I needed to find more. While Alicia was abroad with the CEO, I investigated the hotel where they were staying. I knew she wasn't alone and questioned why they were staying at a different hotel under the guise of a business trip. Using some of my connections, I gained access to the hotel security camera footage. I couldn't believe my eyes, I obtained recordings of Alicia and the CEO sitting intimately in the hotel lobby, spending time together. Now I had solid evidence, I knew for sure that Alicia had betrayed me. But at this point, my anger wasn't just about the betrayal. 
A grand plan of revenge against both Alicia and the CEO, who collaborated with her, began to take shape. I had lost Alicia, that was clear, but along with her, I wanted the CEO to be destroyed as well. Watching the downfall of a man at the peak of his career would be the most satisfying part of my revenge. My first move was to gather all the information into a file. I compiled every photo, every message, and every video recording that documented Alicia's betrayal. Instead of confronting the CEO directly, I took a more strategic route. I secretly delivered this evidence to the company's board of directors. I exposed how the CEO had an affair with an employee, misused company resources during business trips, and acted completely unethically. The fallout from this revelation was huge, within the board, this was seen as a scandal that deeply shook the company's reputation and trustworthiness. Soon after, the CEO's dismissal process accelerated. Inside, I felt a great sense of satisfaction. I was completely destroying both Alicia and the man who had worked with her. With the CEO's removal from the company, the internal dynamics changed, and the board began looking for a new CEO. At this point, my opportunity to rise within the company came. The board was searching for a trustworthy and disciplined leader, and there was no better candidate than me. Shortly thereafter, I was appointed the new CEO of the company. This was my greatest victory, not only in my career but also in my personal revenge. As for Alicia, her life completely fell apart. The luxurious life she lived under the CEO's protection vanished in an instant. There were no more expensive gifts, no more luxurious moments on business trips. She paid a heavy price for her infidelity to me. Alicia was nothing but a memory now, but her downfall became visibly rapid. She was fired from the company, her reputation shattered. After losing me, she was on a path from which there was no return. The greatest loss for her was perhaps the most valuable thing, her status and luxury. The biggest lesson I learned from this process is that betrayal doesn't just destroy a relationship, it can ruin a person's entire life. I destroyed both Alicia and the CEO with their own game. Now I'm at the top, and Alicia is the one who lost. The price of betrayal is high, and the price Alicia paid only made me a stronger person.